Hello and welcome to part 2 of this video, not counting the introduction. So it's the third video, but it's part 2 and we are at the Torch Trouble. And as you can see here, we are at the Torch Trouble. And we have to put on like 10 torches. So we have like 10 torches. Can't beat that hard, right? I mean, come on. Sorry. I don't like that sound too, but we have to do it. So, no armories. So, nothing to fight. So it's very little. Yay, it collapsed. Oh, I thought this was really here. No. I think I missed. Last time I got a scroll that uh, told me that uh, we have to go through the through the long creepy hall, but that's okay. So, so these are the cells. Ouch. A rock just hit you out of nowhere. Great! Hey, I got a rock. Yeah, okay. I won't fight you now. It's pretty light here. Oh, oh yeah, it's the, the morgue. So... That's the thing, right? So... What? I know what's happening. <laughs> but you, you get the feeling something is quite, quite red. Something cold just flew by. It's our thoughts of death and desperation fill your head. Oh. Hey. Here we got the first orb. You need this later. Something cold flew just by. Okay. You get the feeling something isn't quite right here. Something just like the torches here. Yeah, I know that. Something cold just flew by. It feels like someone is standing right behind you. That's okay. So. I the last room, so. Yeah. So. Something isn't quite right here. And the best scripting ever. So this is quite a long story here. I can try to tell you in short what it means, but I will first read everything. So I don't need this one. But I need, where is it? There is it. There's always a bag so you can fit in all this stuff. I'm sorry. <coughs> Yet, bear is not only weak. Oh no, that's wrong. We have to read from first. So, Low Trends Diary. We have received a new test subject this morning. He calls himself Clifford the Noble Knight. Pa. We'll see how noble this knight will remain after we have run the first alchemic test on him. But at least we have a real human being now. That noisy skeleton is good for nothing. Our noble knight is not as much fun as I expected him to be. He is willing to cooperate and accepts uh, cooperate and accepts each and every test we want him to take part in. How weak. I would have expected more resistance coming from a strong knight, but apparently prison life has made him apathic. Apathic, apathic. <sighs> Sorry. I got the impression that yet, yet bears feeling sympathy for this uh, wielding? Weakling, weakling, schwächling, okay. I hope that he will be able to concentrate on the specific importance of our task. 
I've decided to make things a little bit more interesting for me. Yesterday Clifford asked whatever he could extinguish the torches in his cell so that he can sleep better in the dark. The dumb guard allowed it, but I am concerned that it is not desirable to have our test subject start to give out orders. I therefore asked a, ma uh, a mage to make sure that Clifford's cell is always properly illuminated. I could tell by the sadistic gaze of his eyes that I have asked the right person. He put a horrible spell on Clifford's cell that emits a burning bright light. I hope you can sleep well now, Clifford. P.S. I should have done the same with that uh, damned skeleton. Ugh. I'm surrounded by morons, I guess. Clifford did not last very long in his cell. He has slowly melted to death in the bright light, and now everybody acts like I. Uh, this was not absolutely foreseeable. Uh, sorry, it's all coming. It's all running out of my nose at the moment. Uh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I cut this out. Maybe not. Ugh. You see what I do for you, what I've been through. Uh, foreseeable, you know. So, people don't understand that super consequences are a requirement if you want to retain your power. It is not a nice little option you might consider. It's a must, or else you will have everybody stepping on you in no time. Unfortunately, yet, uh, yet better does not see it that way. He seems to be concerned that the punishment of Clifford was somehow wrong and will have negative effects on us. He is weak like Clifford. I don't think he has the potential of, be of becoming a Grandmaster unless he changes soon. Yet but is not only weak, now he has completely lost his mind. He accused me of being responsible for the death of Clifford. Not only that he even considered this is a problem, he also seriously believes that a ghost of Clifford is hunting us now. He babbled something about the torches in the Great Hall, but at this point I already stopped listening. Somehow this sneaky bastard knows that I am in possession of an Anson scroll on ghost banishment. I put it into my personal storage, just to make sure it stays there safety, safely until we really might need it. I'm not willing to waste this on some imaginary friend of yet, but I hope I will still remember the new combination for the lock after the party. If not, I will have to use a potion of guidance. If I'm drunk when I return, I will put an end to the stupid skeleton. We should have all the ingredients in the lab to create some lightning bombs. So, and this is the important part. So, there is a ghost that doesn't want light. But our task is to put on some light. So this is a problem, right? Wrong, it's not a problem. We can do this. It's actually quite easy. If you know how. So, the laboratory. That's important too. So, I need one potion of guidance and something else. Oh, come on. So. I make like three or four bombs. I think you could actually fudge this up here if you are not paying attention to what's happening. Because you need some potions here. This is important. This is really important, okay? Lightning bomb. Take one flask, two herder cups, three cave nettles. Mix well in the motor, do not drop, throw a target, happy shocking. Okay. So, thing is, it's quite easy. So, we have the herder cups now. There are the slime bowls. These are the harder herder cups. So, I think there is actually. Oh, it doesn't work this way. Ugh, I hate it. So, we need this then. Two herder caps, one flask, and so you can make like five of them. It's more than as enough. And, uh, I hate it. So two and three, one, two, three. So first bomb. One, two, three. Second bomb. One. Two, one, two, three. Fred bomb, and I only have one other cup uh, left. I think oh, this was no. There's one more. So. Come on, we can do this. One, two, ah, one, two, three. 
Oh, so there's actually... There are more of them than we need. Okay. We need this for our skeleton now. Because, as you will see... So we got this and... So... There we go back here. This will kill us. So here is the... Lord Rams personal storage, keep our luck, uses deadly force. And this is right, and the combination is so that you can't do it if you just try it. It's too long. So you have no chance to laboratory. That's the first room right here. And here is yet Bear's office. Yeah. Sorry. So we have to. Yeah, stop the music. Yeah, it's okay. I don't appreciate this stuff. So, oh, we can do it here. So, I'm um, sorry. So, no one needs this. We only need the, the entries. So, five of five, but I only have four. No one is here. So. Three, five, four, two, one. We have gotten a new test subject, as we call him here today. His name is Clifford, and he seems to be the guy who was in the wrong place at the wrong time, as one says. He is a kind person. I hope that Lord One is not too cruel with him. I don't think he deserves the mistreatment in this place, but I'm happy that we have at least one mental sane test subject that is willingly participating. I better make sure that Lodwin does not get the chances to spend time with him alone. I will hide my blue gem required for the unlock system, old unlock system behind one of the top restories in the Great Hall. So this is this thingy here. Lodwin is a madman. He punished Clifford to death only because he asked for a simple favor. Apparently Lodwin ordered a mage to eliminate his cell with a bright dangerous light that slowly cooked Clifford to death. His cell is still illuminated now, even after he's gone. During the last days, I could hear his screams when passing to a cell block, begging for darkness. I, I was present when he was struggling with Exodus, and at the moment his body collapsed. I could swear that I saw a dark mist emerging from his corpse. This is not good. Absolutely not. I know what I saw, and although nobody believes me, this is the truth. We are hunted by the ghost of Clifford. His gruesome death was bound these spirits to this place. I have proof. Go to the main hall and try to light one of the torches. The ghost of Clifford will extinguish it at once. I can only assume that the same would happen with the torch in this cell, as this was his place of death, but it was still locked. Until his death, he was wished for nothing. He has sniffed. Wished for nothing more than darkness, therefore his ghost is now attracted to torches and he will try to keep them unlit. I still feel guilty, having not stood up against Lord Ryan and his mistreatment of our prisoner. Dark as I hate it. I really hate it. <sighs> to keep him unlit. Blah blah blah. Uh, so he may rest in peace. On a side note, it would be nice to have a great hall illuminated again. I nearly stepped on a mouse yesterday evening. Finally, my studies regarding the banishment of Clifford are showing some success. I found the following in an old and dusty book on ghosts. Know that to banish a ghost, one must have strong sensual interconnection with the spiritual creature. You have to see, hear, or feel the ghost you want to banish, or your undertaking shall not be successful. Smelling and tasting have been proven as impractical without the cooperation of the ghost, therefore one of the other options, options is strongly recommended. Now that even the most ghosts are invisible, you might learn seeing in the spectrum of the undead by training your eyes by, or by alchemic potions. That means I have to unlock the ghost and then banish him. Ankleoak, sorry. But how do I make him visible? And what is needed for the ritual? There are still are uh, many questions. So, and these are answered here. Do I have a good news as well as bad news? Good news. First, I found a formula that should be enable me to see in the spectrum of the undead. The formula is 2 dubits, 1 blood rub plus M. Okay. We should have everything ready in the lab, just blood rub plus some is missing. But I might ask Gilbert. He probably still has some leftovers from glass. I will try the formula after the party when everybody is sleeping. 
Bad news is I've come to know that our own Lord Run, Lord Run should be in possession possession of a description of a retail on ghost banishment and he did not even mention it to me. I confronted him about this all day and he was stubborn as expected. I assume he has locked away the ritual description in his personal storage. I already tried to tamper with the lock but I nearly got electrocuted. I have to be careful, yeah. So, if you uh, fast forward it, the thing is we need a potion to see the ghost and we know how to make this potion. We All we need is that for blossom which we can get from here. So free, free, one, free, or at least they're only free. So uh so dear diary, today was a good day. A new prisoner was brought to us for testing purposes. Now I know how new test subject needs to be handled in the alchemy testing process. When we require new subjects, they are brought to us by the guards. It's only allowed to speak to the prisoner or to perform tests if a guard is present. But yet Bear has told me that there is still another way to open the cells. If you put two blue gems in the eyes of the statue in a morgue, all cells will open at once. Apparently this is an old mechanism that the guard have forgotten about. Awesome, but unfortunately I am not able to try this by myself as only yet Bear and Lotran have one game age. Game age? Bleh. Today was a good day. I learned how to create a new potion. It's called the Potion of Guidance and it will help me with my studies because it forces the mind to focus only on important things. Jesper told me that it also enables you to see special markings left behind by other alchemists. Cool. I better write down the formula so I don't forget it. To me create one cream cap. More tomorrow. Love. Dear Diary, today was not so good. I guess I'm not new test shop check died recently and Lord and Yetba had this boat dispute about it today. It seems that Yetba thinks that Lordran is responsible for the death of the subject and now thinks his ghost is hunting us. They are not talking to each other anymore. I don't really believe in ghosts, but Yetba is right concerning the torches. You cannot light any torches in the Great Hall anymore. They extinguish themselves with, uh, within sounds. Uh, seconds. And I really get an eerie feeling in this place. Spooky. I hope maintenance will take care of it. That skeleton is nasty. It always shouts at me and tries to grab me through the pot coolers. Today it said strange things about my mother I did not fully understand. Not when I already told me to, he might get rid of him. I hope he does, although I wonder how he is planning to do this without proper equipment. This might be dangerous. So, two cream caps and make read, which is also here. So, one, two. Oh, yeah. Boy, so. We got this. This is right. What? So. Now we can go into the personal store. Which is around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's spooky as hell. So. Now we can click on everything. And this is great. So. Uh, I don't know if the combination is always the same, but it's not that hard. Just go and make this guidance potion, and you should be safe here. So, we, as you see, it's a really long combination. So, so we got this thingy, and we got a scroll. The unholy ritual. To banish the ghosts, one must lure them to the very place the soul split from. The dying body. This fr from the dying body. A soul cannot leave it as it is bound to this place of existence by the angel of the ghost. Therefore, if you have to neutralize it, no. This angel with an orb of opposite power. To create such an orb, do the following. Collect the dust from three skulls of undead creatures, or if possible from humans that died after suffering. Use one entity to symbolize what the ghost hates the most. The orb will receive the exact opposite power of the entity you provided. Mix the dust from the three skulls together with some samples from the entity in a mortar and mix it in a slime bell, common amongst alchemists. Mix well and as soon you should see an orb emerge from the mixture. 
Once you have created your orb, use it on the ghost you want to banish when you have loaded to the exit position of its death. Good luck. So, we open all cells. And now we need our lightning bolts. Bombs. Ah. Oh, it looks so Skull one. I need this. So we got skull one, we got skull two. And we need the slime belts too, two, so come here. And skull three. So one, two, three. One slime bell. And a torch. And we got this orb. Orb of darkness. So it impairs my vision, it's okay. I need one more torch. So because as we as we saw before Um he, he puts out every light source, right? I feel, oh, I need this too, right? So, what was this? Uh, one, two, one, I think. Yeah. So, Ghost Visibility Potion. Now I can see the undead. And he's coming. He, he won't hurt me. That's a great thing. So, when he stands here. And that's how you kill a ghost. <sighs> Sorry again. <sighs> that I'm so sick. Ah, oh, poor Clifford. He was a nice guy, actually. I really think he was that. He, he was nice. So, where do we have... So we can't go here, so we have to go... Back here, anyway, so... So, and now what we have to do is put back on this torches. And we are done. I hope you like this walkthrough of the torch level. And I've seen on the forum that many people found it quite hard. It's actually not that hard if you know what to do. You have to read like everything in this game, it's the only thing that you need to know. So, and I will be going right down there. So we save here. The prison wall is great. Yes, I want to save it here. Save. Uh, what was the next? I think it was with the compass. Let's check it out. So, yeah, it's like, yeah. Okay, it's the storage room. Storage slum. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you in the next video. And yeah, sorry, leave a comment or like the video or subscribe subscribe to my channel if you liked it i hope i could help you if you was if you were watching this for the walkthrough of this level and see you in the next level when you need help or because you liked me so bye